السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam His household, his companions May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them all and bless every one of us My brothers and sisters in Islam The biggest gift I have today is the fact that I am a member of the beautiful Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The fact that I'm a Muslim, the fact that I'm a mu'min, I have iman. I am a Muslim. And what that means is I believe that there is none worthy of worship besides my maker, Allah. And I believe that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That makes me a Muslim. I believe that I shall pray five times a day something known as Salah, which is not just a supplication, but it is a way of worshipping my maker that he has chosen. I start it off with an intention saying Allahu Akbar and I end it with a Salam, Taslim. And in between the two, I will do what my maker has taught me through the most beloved Muhammad, peace be upon him. I am a Muslim, so I will pray in that way five times a day. But I will also supplicate in terms of dua and a different type of prayer that would be. Because in the English language, when I say I pray, it could and would include a supplication. So I pray before I eat because I'm a Muslim. I pray before I sleep because I'm a Muslim. I pray when I get up, I'm supplicating to Allah. We say Alhamdulillah, all praise is due to Allah because I'm a Muslim. I will be honest because I'm a Muslim. So I'm a Muslim. I will pray five times a day and on top of that, I will continue with various other types of prayer that have been taught by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I'm a Muslim. So I will fast in the month of Ramadan. I will make sure that I abstain from what the Almighty has asked me to abstain from because I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim, so I will give charity to the poor, something known as zakat, two and a half percent of my wealth, I will make sure it goes to the underprivileged and the poor. I'm a Muslim, so I will reach out to the poor in ways greater than merely giving them Two and a half percent. I'm a Muslim, so I will respect and honor those who are poor, those who are underprivileged and have less than me. That's what makes me a Muslim. I'm a Muslim, so I will consider it a great favor of the Almighty when a need of another person is made apparent to me so that I can be used to alleviate that particular suffering or the need that the person is going through for the sake of the Almighty. That's what makes me a Muslim. I'm a Muslim, so I will reach out to people, Muslim as well as non-Muslim, because I believe they are the creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I believe that he who made me, made every one of them. That's what makes me a Muslim. I am a Muslim, so I will reach out to the animals because they are the creatures of the Almighty. The Almighty has made them. That's what makes me a Muslim. I'm a Muslim, so I will reach out to absolutely everyone even my enemy i will pray for him that's what makes me a muslim i will say a good prayer because i'm a muslim and i believe in allah i'm a muslim so i will ensure that i do not damage or destroy the environment or the ecosystem because i'm a muslim i will Try my best to remove a harmful object from the path of the people because I'm a Muslim. Because my prophet taught me that if there is a harmful object on the road, if you remove it, you will be rewarded. It is a part of your faith and your belief. Subhanallah. That's what makes me a Muslim. I'm a Muslim, so I will make sure that I do not relieve myself in the path of the people. I will make sure that when I relieve myself, I do so in the most respectful way. And I keep myself as clean as possible physically, as well as every other form of cleanliness. I'm a Muslim, so I will make sure that I speak with respect to everyone. I will not use vulgar words. That's what makes me a Muslim. If I use bad words, then how can I call myself a true Muslim? My brothers and sisters, I'm a Muslim, so therefore... I will ensure 
that as far as possible, I will honor every single creature that is created by He who made me. My brothers and sisters, I'm a Muslim, so wherever possible, I will go for the Hajj. At least once in my lifetime. And I will make sure that that happens quickly, as soon as I can, once I can afford it, because my maker has taught me to respect the sacrifice of all the messengers of the Almighty. And in this case, Ibrahim alayhi salam, as well as Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the Prophet Abraham, may peace be upon him, what he went through, I really am inspired by because I'm a Muslim. And therefore, I will try my best to go to Mecca to make sure that I fulfill that pilgrimage as per the teaching of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam in order not just to commemorate the life of the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, but in order to fulfill the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these are the five pillars of Islam. Firstly, I believe there is none worthy of worship besides Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the final messenger. I pray five times a day. I give charity to the poor. I will ensure that I fast during the month of Ramadan and I make sure that if I can and when I can, I will go for Hajj. And if possible, obviously not from among the pillars, but I will go for Umrah because the holy lands are very, very dear to me as a Muslim. I will pray for their safety and security and I will try my best to connect myself to this beautiful place known as Mecca and Medina because what is dear to me is there. Subhanallah, I'm a Muslim, so I will go to the house of Allah as much as I can on a daily basis. Because it's the house of my maker. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because all of us are Muslim. And for those who may not be Muslim who will be listening to this, well, I want you to know this is what makes me a Muslim. I'm a Muslim, so I will be polite. I'm a Muslim, so I will be honest. I'm a Muslim, so I consider my dress an act of worship. Whatever I wear, I will ask myself, is this an act of worship? Is this considered an act of worship? If not, I will change it to make sure that it is morally of a very high standard. This is why I always say to my sisters and my brothers who are Muslim, remember you are a Muslim, so your clothing is an act of worship. Do you really feel when you wear your clothes that I am just engaging in an act of worship? If the answer is no, you need to improve your dress. So I'm a Muslim, so I will make sure whatever I wear, I will consider it an act of worship for the sake of the Almighty. May Allah make me strong. May Allah make me strong. Let's go further. I'm a Muslim, so I believe in all the angels. Amazing. I believe that the Almighty has angels and I believe that these angels have different tasks. Their number is not known by anyone besides Allah. And I believe that some of them we are told about, some were not. Some were given what their task was and some were not. For example, we have Jibreel alayhi salam, we have Israfil, we have Mikael, we have some of these angels. They have different tasks. I believe that they are angels and I believe these angels they do not disobey Allah. لا يعصون الله ما أمرهم ويفعلون ما يؤمرون. They do not disobey Allah in their in the, His instruction to them, and they do as they are told, and they don't get tired. يسبحون الليل والنهار لا يفترون. They declare the praise of Allah morning and evening and they don't ever stop. There is no pause. They don't get tired according to one of the verses. I'm a Muslim, so I believe in these angels. I'm a Muslim, so I believe in all the previous messengers and I will respect them and honor them and I won't allow a single word of blaspheme or a single word of a derogatory nature to be said against any one of those messengers to name a few the prophet adam the first of mankind may peace be upon him noah may peace be upon him 
Abraham, may peace be upon him. Ishmael, may peace be upon him. Isaac, may peace be upon him. Jesus, may peace be upon him. Moses, may peace be upon him. Aaron, may peace be upon him. Solomon, may peace be upon him. David, may peace be upon him. Lot, may peace be upon him. Job, may peace be upon him. All of them notice I'm a Muslim, so I will say, may peace be upon him when I say his name, because that is the honor and the dignity that I've been taught to accord to those who were the most beautiful of the creation of the Almighty. I'm a Muslim, so I do not believe that those prophets had bad habits or they were low. I'm a Muslim, so I believe when the Almighty chose the prophets, he chose the best of all mankind to be the prophets. So I will say may peace be upon them. In the same way, I will not allow people to create something derogatory or to, in the same way it hurts me to see any derogatory remark, statement, cartoon, video against Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. In that exact way, it hurts me to see the same about the Prophet Jesus, may peace be upon him, or Moses, may peace be upon him, or anyone for that matter, may peace be upon them all. I'm a Muslim, so I believe in all these messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May peace be upon them and may peace be upon every one of us. Amen. I'm a Muslim, so I believe in the books that were revealed to every one of these prophets, the Psalms of David, the Old Testament, the Bible, the, 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 the Torah, subhanallah, the Talmud. I believe in all these books, the original script of every one of these books. I believe that they are heavenly books. I'm a Muslim, so I believe in the Quran and I believe it is the final testament. I'm a Muslim, so I will ensure that I derive from the goodness of everything that the Almighty has sent down. I'm a Muslim, so I believe in general that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down all heavenly books. And I'm a Muslim, so I believe if the original manuscripts are found today, they will be in conformity to what the Quran has. I'm a Muslim, so I believe in the last day. I believe in accountability. I believe that whatever I do, I cannot get away with the bad. And I believe I will be rewarded for the patience I have. I, will, I believe because I'm a Muslim that whatever, whatever I do, I'm answerable to the Almighty. I also believe He will forgive me because He is the most forgiving, the most merciful. وَإِنِّي لَغَفَّارٌ لِمَنْ تَابَ وَآمَنَ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا ثُمَّ اهْتَدَى I'm a Muslim so I believe Allah says I am the most forgiving. I will continue to forgive those who, who seek my forgiveness. So therefore as a Muslim I will never lose hope in Allah. I've committed sin but as a Muslim I believe I need to admit my sin to my maker alone and I need to regret and I need to seek forgiveness and I need to promise him I won't do it again. When I do that, I'm a Muslim, so I believe I'm totally forgiven. I'm a Muslim, so I believe that my relationship with the Almighty is so beautiful. It is me. It is my maker. I will put my head on the ground only and solely for the one who made me and nobody else. I will prostrate only for the Almighty. I will not prostrate for anyone or anything else because I'm a Muslim. That's what makes me a Muslim. I'm a Muslim, so I believe that my faith is based on forgiveness. I'm a Muslim, so I believe my personal savior is he who made me Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm a Muslim, so I believe that my personal savior is the one who made me, the one whom I'm going to return to, the Almighty. He and he alone. I'm a Muslim, so I believe that I should never lose hope in the one who made me. He loves me, that's why he made me. Subhanallah. I'm a Muslim, so no matter what I've done, I will always keep on turning to Allah and I will never fall prey to the devil. I'm a Muslim, so wherever I have gone wrong, I will quickly come back and I will say, Almighty, I know you love me, I love you too. Forgive me, I did wrong and I will still have hope. Right up to the end. I'm a Muslim, so I believe that when I guide others, when I try to guide others, I should be the one who practices what I preach to start with. I'm a Muslim, so I believe that when I help others, the Almighty will reward me too. 
I'm a Muslim, so I will respect my parents. Even if I disagree with them, I have no reason to be disrespectful. I will continue to be kind to my parents. That's what makes me a Muslim. Indeed, the Almighty has declared, none shall be worshipped besides him, and you shall be kind to your parents. I'm a Muslim, so I will go out of my way to be kind to my parents. I'm a Muslim, so I will fulfill my relations. Those who are related to me, my siblings, my uncles, my aunts, my relatives, I will go out of my way to resolve matters, and I will not be a problem. I will not be the source and the cause of the problem. Rather, I'm a Muslim, so I will strive to be the reason of the solution. May Allah make me a true Muslim. I'm a Muslim. My brothers and sisters, I definitely believe in accountability. If I've oppressed someone, I know the Almighty will catch me. If I've oppressed someone, stolen their wealth, hurt them, harmed them, I need to seek their forgiveness because I'm a Muslim. If I don't, the Almighty will come back to me after giving me a period of time and punish me severely, perhaps in this world, if not here, then in the hereafter. And at times, if I'm arrogant, he will punish me in both. I'm a Muslim. So when I've wronged someone, I will not be too proud to go to them and say, brother, I did something wrong. Please forgive me. My sister, I was wrong. Please forgive me. Because I'm a Muslim. My pride must not come in the way of my relationship with the Almighty because I'm a Muslim. I'm not too proud to say I'm sorry. I'm a Muslim, so I believe we're all equal and we all have the access to the Almighty like each other. I'm a Muslim, so I will not believe that I am above anyone else because I'm a Muslim. I'm taught that we are all the same. I'm a Muslim, so I will not be a racist. I will never believe that there is a preference of color in the eyes of the Almighty. No, in my eyes. I'm a Muslim, so I will not stand for the wealthy man when he is wrong in a dispute against a poorer person. But I will stand firm for justice. <laughs> oh, you who believe, oh people, stand firm for justice. No matter what, for the sake of the Almighty. In another verse, be it against yourselves or your parents or your family members, etc., etc. And in another verse, Allah says, stand firm for justice. Do not let your hatred for a people make you become unjust. Wow. I'm a Muslim, so I will stand firm for justice even if that justice happens to be upon the side of a person I don't like. Because I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim, so I will be kind to everyone. I've already said that, but I'm repeating it because the aspect of justice, when I do good, I'll be rewarded. There is a final day. There is a day of judgment. I'm a Muslim, so I believe the world will come to an end one day. I'm a Muslim, so I believe that I'm going to be standing in front of my maker one day and he's going to take account of my deeds. I'm a Muslim, so I have a hope that the day I die, I will go to a better place than I am right now. I'm a Muslim, so I know that when I die and I'm buried, I'm at the mercy of the one who made me in the first place. I'm a Muslim, so I, have, I will pray for those who are sick and ill because I know that through that prayer, Allah will grant me good health too. I'm a Muslim, so I will pray for those who've passed away, that the Almighty have mercy on them because I want mercy too. May Allah have mercy on those who've passed away. And may Allah grant cure to those who are sick and ill across the globe. I'm a Muslim, so I will reach out to those who are suffering across the globe as a result of warfare that doesn't make sense. As a result of so much of fighting and killing that we could actually stop. But unfortunately, the powers are not stopping it. But I will reach out to them through my prayer, through my money, through my time, through my effort, and so many other ways, whatever I can. I'm a Muslim, so I will not be judgmental because I know the Almighty has kept a day to judge others. That's what makes me a Muslim. Maliki Yawmiddin. The owner of the day of judgment is Allah. He has set aside a day to judge. I'm a Muslim, so I know that if I 
were to judge others, I would be wrong because the Almighty is the ultimate judge. But I'm a Muslim, so I will never ever turn away good advice with the excuse of them being judgmental. I'm a Muslim, so I appreciate advice. I'm a Muslim, so I will give advice in the most polite way. Ad-Deenul Nasiha. I will be genuine towards others. I'm a Muslim, so I will read the Quran on a daily basis because that's the most powerful word in existence. I'm a Muslim, so I will make sure that the word of the Almighty, the word of the Maker is part of my daily life, even if it be a verse a day. I'm a Muslim. Subhanallah. I'm a Muslim, so when I see some lost property, I will pick it up and be honest and try and look for the owner. I'm a Muslim, so I won't steal, I won't drink. I will never touch alcohol because I'm a Muslim. The brain that the Almighty has given me, I have to maintain it at the optimum level, at the highest possible level. And I will never ever compromise that with any intoxicant. I'm a Muslim, so I won't reduce my life to a cheap night life with the lowest of morals, filled with entertainment that happens to be low and dirty. I'm a Muslim, so whatever fun I want, I will make sure it is clean. I'm a Muslim, so I won't gamble because that's prohibited by my maker. Gambling is not allowed. I'm a Muslim, so I won't commit adultery because that's prohibited by the Almighty. When I want to do things, I'll do it the proper way. I'm a Muslim, so I will not watch that which is immoral, such as pornography. I'll stay away from it. And wherever we've faulted, we ask the Almighty's forgiveness. Because I'm a Muslim, I will continue having hope in the Almighty. I will keep smiling because smiling is a charity. I will make sure that I try my best to let people feel the positive side of things rather than the negative. I'm a Muslim, there will always be hope for a Muslim. I'm a Muslim, I have conviction that the future will be better than the past. The future will be better than today, should I say. Meaning if we have difficulties and problems as a Muslim, we look forward to the solutions and we are convinced the day will come when that matter will be resolved. I'm a Muslim, so I will bear patience if Allah has tested me with something. I'm a Muslim, so if Allah takes away my loved ones, may Allah not do that to us. I will bear patience and I will say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We all belong to Allah. We're all going to return to Allah because I'm a Muslim. That's what I'm taught to do. I need to be patient and I know if I'm patient upon the loss of a loved, the loss of a loved one, I will be earning paradise. I'm a Muslim, so I hope that Allah will grant me paradise. I'm a Muslim, so I know that I have no certain knowledge as to the condition upon which a person will die. Therefore, I will never doom someone who happens to be sinful. Nor will I look at myself as higher because I don't know upon what condition I will die. And I don't know upon what condition they will die. They might become even better than me within a short space of time. And who knows, we may lose our faith. May that never happen to us. I'm a Muslim, so I will continue asking the Almighty to grant me happiness, to grant me goodness, to grant me faith and conviction, to take me away in a condition that he's pleased with me because I'm a Muslim. I will not just rely on my powers, my brain, my energy, because I know all those faculties were given by the Almighty. I'm a Muslim. Everything I've achieved, I will relate it to the Almighty, not to me, not to my brain. I'm a Muslim, so the wealth I have, I will share it. Subhanallah, I'm a Muslim. Look at how beautiful Islam is. Every one of us can relate to everything I have said just now. I'm a Muslim, so I will visit the sick and ill and I will pray for them. Subhanallah, amazing. I'm a Muslim, so I will help people do good and I will discourage them in a nice way from bad. I'm a Muslim, so when I look at every single human being, I should be seeing some goodness. Subhanallah. And if I don't see goodness, it's due to my weakness. And if I'm not able to benefit from someone, I don't need to harm them. Subhanallah. I'm a Muslim, so 
if I am being harmed by someone, I'm allowed to stay away from them, but I'm not allowed to harm them in return. I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. So when I see someone who's been harming me, when I see someone who has been trying hard to hurt me, yes, I will defend myself in a respectful, respectable manner. But I will not do that which displeases Allah. I'm a Muslim. I need to love for my enemies what I love for myself. I need to want the goodness for them too. I'm a Muslim. So if I have conveyed the message of Islam to the enemies of Islam in a way that they do not turn to Islam, but they understand that Islam is a beautiful religion. I've achieved great success by the help of Allah. Conversion, reversion and turning faith doesn't belong to me. It belongs to the Almighty, but the trial is mine. I'm a Muslim, so I'll keep on trying. I'm a Muslim, so I believe that through my great good character and conduct, others will be inspired to be better people. If Allah grants me that, so may Allah grant me that and every one of us. I'm a Muslim and I firmly believe that my messenger, may peace be upon him, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa taught me that the best from among you are those with the best character. So therefore, I will spend my lifetime developing my character and conduct. I will spend a lifetime learning how to speak to people, learning how to make people feel important. And I will seek forgiveness every single day from the Almighty because my most beloved messenger, peace be upon him, used to seek forgiveness when he did not even need it. I need it. So I will seek it even more. May Allah forgive me, forgive every one of us. My brothers and sisters, aren't you impressed by what Islam is all about? I'm a Muslim, so I will be the best to my wife. And I promise you, go and try asking a question. How's this guy? I will continue to work so hard that the answer will be he's the best possible guy. Inshallah, that be for me and for all of us. Say Ameen. I'm a Muslim, so I will ensure that my children look up to me as a role model. I'm a Muslim, so I will not want bad habits within me for my children to see and be depressed about how dad is and how bad the dad is. Noticing that the difference between bad and dad is just the flicking of the D and the B. Subhanallah. Don't be a bad dad. Be a good dad, inshallah. I'm a Muslim, so I will be a role model for those who are younger as far as possible. Now I want to tell you, I'm a Muslim. What about those who are not? Well, if you want to enter the fold of Islam, I can tell you something. I've already mentioned the pillars of Islam and Iman. In fact, Iman includes also to believe that good and bad fate comes from the Almighty. Good and bad fate. When something good happens, I relate it to the Almighty. I said that. When something bad happens, I relate it to the Almighty. He, it was destined, but I don't become depressed about it. I continue and I say, look, good and bad fate comes from the Almighty. There's deeper explanation to it. But my brothers and sisters, there is a last day when we will be returning to Allah. Before we return to Him. In a manner that he is displeased with us, we can make him by the will of Allah, by his own will, we can make him pleased with us if we keep trying. So if someone is not a Muslim and they want to enter the fold of Islam, they need to declare just a declaration, believe it in the heart and start learning and work towards it. What is it? I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship besides Allah. That's what you need to say. And I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the final messenger of Allah. That's what you need to say. Those two sentences make you a Muslim. Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah. I bear witness there is none worthy of worship besides Allah. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. And I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah, the final messenger of Allah. That's the crux. Once you declare that, you're a Muslim. If you believe it in your heart, you're a Muslim. When you start working towards it, you're a Muslim. Subhanallah. And all the goodness that we've mentioned should become yours. And the last thing I want to say before I close today, all of us seated here, you heard me saying what Islam is all about. I want you to ask yourselves, am I really a Muslim? 
Am I really a Muslim? I just heard everything. Do I really fit into all of this? If I don't, well, I need to, inshallah, make an effort to become a real Muslim. May Allah help us all to become beautiful Muslimin. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad.